All right. In the previous video, we created the labeling job. And now we're ready to get to work. So let me switch to the worker console, um, the one I logged into previously using the, the account I created. And now I see this job that's uh, ready for me to work on. So let's get to work. So now we're going to be presented with the samples present in, in the data set, right? So on the left side, we see instructions. And again, I stuck with uh, generic instructions here. And in real life, <laughs> you know, for production workloads, please, please make sure you actually pass uh, meaningful, detailed instructions here if you want your workers to, to do a good job. And now I see samples, of course. I see tools here to help me work. And I see the labels. OK, so let's get to work. So I guess here, this is the guitar player, right? And you know, as it turns out, you know, James is also the vocalist. So <laughs> there you go, right? That's an ambiguous sample here. But he's not actually singing, right? He's playing guitar. So let's treat him as a, as a guitar player. Um, so we could do this, right? We could gradually define the contour for for this player. Okay, so that's one way of doing it using the polygon object. Oh, yeah, and it does take a while, and you need to be quite precise. You can zoom in and, uh, you know, you have this uh, zoom object. So here I'm, I'm going probably a little too fast, but OK. So that's one way of doing it. All right. Hopefully that's not too sloppy. And if make sure you hit that last dot here, right? Okay, uh, that completes the the mask, right? So fine. Um, and again, you know, we can we can zoom. Uh, we can zoom in or zoom out and uh, and we could be extremely precise if we wanted to but i guess for this one uh, that's all right so let's submit this one move on to the next oh yeah i need to validate the polygon and submit okay okay so here's another image to work on and um, we could try the polygon again or we could try this new feature that just came out last week i think that lets you automatically segment. So let's select a guitarist again. And here, instead of drawing the, the polygon, we can try and define four points. And yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, it sure is quicker than uh, than uh, trying to build that polygon, and of course we can, you know, we can use the eraser and and refine um, refine our work. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. OK, so let's try that on the other guy. Um, so here we go. Oh, need to select the label first, of course. All right, yeah. This one is not as good, but all right, we can take that.
All right, just get a bigger brush. Okay, and you know, even if it's not, it doesn't get it perfectly right. And you, you know, we have a. These are pretty difficult images because you have a very complex background and uh, and the, the you know the light is not is not easy to work on. I guess everything is kind of yellow and you know. Anyway, right? You you get the you get the point. Let's try this one with auto segmentation again. Oh yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay, nice. Uh, and maybe that guy too. All right. All right, and yeah, this is the bass player again. <laughs> Sorry, bass players. Okay, and this one, the final one. So, auto segmentation again. Um, maybe here, yep. Okay, that's not too bad. And this one here. Okay, yeah, did better on that one. Right. With a little uh, experience, I guess you know where to put those dots in the optimal way, right? Okay, so let's submit the image. All right, I guess one more to go. All right, let's try and do those quick. Okay, not bad. And let's use the vocalist this time. All right, pretty good. Submit. All right, I'm done. So I'm done working. Uh, so I could uh, I can log out. So now all those annotations are going to be saved. And if I go back to uh, to my job here, in a few minutes I'm going to see annotated samples, and uh, and of course I'm going to get the annotated manifest in S3. Okay. So let's wait for a few minutes, and then I'll show you the annotations, and we'll quickly talk about how you use those to train models.